To record your screen from your iPhone or your iPad to your Mac, you'll need to make sure you're connected with a lightning cable. You also need to make sure you're running iOS 8 or above on your iOS devices. Now what you wanna do is launch the QuickTime player, which I've done right now. You'll get this little menu here, just tap done to X that out. Now you wanna to go to file, you wanna select new movie recording, just select that and that will load up the QuickTime interface. Now you want to click this little down arrow here and select your iPhone under camera. So there is my iPhone and you can also select microphones if you want to do that. You can also make your iPhone a microphone and use that as a mic. It's up to you. Now once you see your iPhone screen capture, you can just start using your phone like you want to use it and get to the portion of the app that you want to record. Uh, here is my home screen of course. And now I'm just gonna start the recording process. But before I do that, I wanna make sure that my microphone is selected to the right one. I'm going to select my iPhone microphone. So I've done that. And now I can start the recording process. I'm just gonna hover over the actual uh, screen capture, click record, and you can see the recording going on right now. Super simple. So now I'm just gonna use my phone like I want to use it so that it captures what I want it to capture. So I'm going to launch an app. How about 1Password? And there's the Touch ID interface, all that jazz. And I'll just exit out like that. So I've finished recording. Um, now I wanna stop the recording because I've you know, got all the footage that I wanna get. So what we'll do is we'll go here and then we'll click on the stop button just like that. And now I can actually play and scrub through the recording. You can see there is the one password that I loaded up just a second ago. And if I want to, I can even share directly from QuickTime using the share button. I can use any of these extensions like YouTube or Vimeo, etc. Now, what we need to do is go up to file and then select save and then save our output to our desired location. I'm just gonna save it in the iCloud section of the QuickTime player app and I'm gonna name it Test Movie. And that's all there is to it, folks. I have saved this screen capture just like that.